What's up YouTube? Cardhub Manila here back with another video. So today is going to be another episode for our Who Do You Collect series. And we'll be featuring none other than the GOAT himself, the greatest of all time, his heiress Michael Jordan. As I mentioned in some of my previous videos, I started collecting NBA cards during the early 90s. And if you're a fan of the NBA, you would remember that this was at the height of Michael Jordan's popularity. The Chicago Bulls were in the midst of their first three-peat run. And as far as collecting NBA cards were concerned, while I still focused on the rookies, I did have a couple of Michael Jordan cards in my collection. It's not a lot. It's just around 22 to 25 cards if I remember correctly. And majority of those are just raw base cards and some raw inserts. And I just added to the rest of the collection with some graded cards when I went back to collecting around late 2020. So we'll start first with the raw cards and then move on to some of the graded cards. And as far as the raw cards are concerned, I've categorized them into two kinds. So the first batch is from my album collection. So these cards are not top loaded. They're just included in an album. So this is actually the Dream Team set album that I have. I do recall showing some of the cards to you earlier this year when I showcased my Magic Johnson and Larry Bird collection. So this is part of that actually. So these are the base cards and some of the dream team cards of michael jordan as part of the dream team set so this one is this 1992 upper deck base card i'll be flashing to your right a complete set of this as far as the dream team players are concerned the second one is also basically similar to the first one but this time around this is the skybox set so i also have a complete set of this as far as the dream team members are concerned. The next one is from the 1991 or 92 Skybox set. So this is an insert set that featured the original Dream Team players now wearing their Team USA uniform. So one of the more iconic cards for Michael Jordan. Then the next one is actually coming from Ball Street. I'm not even sure if they're still around now, but I also have the complete Dream Team set of this design. And then the last three cards are actually from a Skybox box set. So this featured the 10 Dream Team players and some of the coaches in their different game photos. So you have here a photo of Michael Jordan when he was a rookie. And then the next one is a playoff photo. So the last one is actually one saying NBA all-time record. So there are around 10 cards per player for that set and another few cards for the coaches. So if you bought that set, that's probably around 100 card set collection. So that's it for the album raw cards. So moving on now to my top loaded Michael Jordan cards. So this one is not part of my original collection also. I just recently picked this up and you might have seen this in one of my sports cards pickup episode. So this is the 1996 Fleer Decade of Excellence insert which pays tribute to Michael Jordan's 1986 rookie card so i really wanted to have this as part of my mj collection obviously getting the original rookie card is out of the question since it's really expensive and i guess this is the next best thing so the next card is this is an upper deck 2004 2005 flight team insert so this is actually a three card insert that I also bought recently. It was a good set to have. It featured Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and also Michael Jordan. So I wanted to collect some of those cards which featured three of the best players ever to play the game in the NBA. 
So the last two cards are from the 2002-2003 season, if I'm not mistaken. On the left is your base card, and this one is very early form of a parallel at that time. So it's not numbered, but supposedly these are short printed ones. They call it MVP Classic Parallels. So also a nice card to have, and probably one of Jordan's last few cards because after this season, he already retired. So I still have some other raw cards, but these are raw cards that I put in a custom slab. So you'll see the two there that are displayed. So I really like those inserts, so I decided to just put them in a custom slab. The custom slab, as mentioned before, is from Slab Studios. They make one of the better custom slabs here in the Philippines and on to your right is a Skybox electrified insert from the 1995-1996 season and to your left is a FLIR Tradition Plus Factor card. It's from the 1998-1999 FLIR Tradition set. One other raw card that I have that's in a custom slab is actually this card. So it's part of the 1997-98 Skybox Z-Force box set and I really like the design of the Z-Force set so I, I kept one in terms of my collection as far as Michael Jordan is concerned. So nice card to have and Slab Studios did a great job in terms of the custom slab here trying to match the colors of the card. So anyway, that's it for the raw cards collection. And let's now move on to the graded cards. So for the graded slabs, I actually have two sets of graded slabs here. The first set is from HGA. And the second set obviously is from PSA. So you'll notice later that the HGA slabs are all graded mint 9. And if you follow some of my older videos, I don't really collect slabs that are not gem mint pens, but I made an exception for these five HGA slabs because I really like the custom labels that they use and this is going to be really nice as far as putting it in my collection. So the first one is a 1995-1996 FLIR metal nuts and bolts insert. So, as mentioned, it's a mint 9. Really hard to get 10s actually in HGA, so I had to settle for the 9s. And really nice looking card. One of these more popular inserts and it's a cool looking label to match the card. So that's the first one. The second one you've already seen, but this time around it's the graded version. So this one is... 9697 Skybox Electrified Insert, also graded 9 by HGA, and also a nice custom label to go along with the card design. Another familiar card, so this one is the 9899 Fleer Tradition Plus Factor, HGA Mint 9. Again, with that very cool custom label that matches the design of the insert card. So the next card is actually also a familiar card. So the one I showed earlier, but this one again in a graded HGA slab with those nice matching custom labels. So this is the 1996 FLIR Decade of Excellence insert card. So this one is the 1997-1998 Skybox Metal Universe card. Really love the way the custom label matches the colorful card. So that's it for the HGA graded cards. Let's now move on to the PSA set. So the first set of PSA graded cards is this 1991 Skybox Dream Team set. So Michael Jordan is part of 
Team USA 2 on the left hand side there. So really happy to have this in my collection, especially with all of them being graded gem mint tents. For the next cards, we have here two inserts from the 1992 Upper Deck set. So you have there the In Your Face insert card and also the Game Faces insert card. So these two are very memorable for me because when I started collecting, I started with the 1992 Upper Deck set. So when I was able to find these cards in eBay, I didn't hesitate to get it since the seller was offering a fair price for these also. So moving on, the last three cards from my collection are all base cards from the upper deck sets of the early 90s. So this one is his 1991 upper deck base card. So aside from promos that were sent out the year before, I believe this is Michael Jordan's first official upper deck card. The next one is one of his more iconic cards. So this one is from the 1992 set that I mentioned earlier with those two inserts. But this time around, this is the base card and a lot of people really were into collecting this particular card during that time since it shows a nice picture of Michael Jordan flying through the air for a dunk. So very nice card to have and happy that I was able to get it. So the last card is also his last upper deck base card before he retired for the first time. So this is the 1993 upper deck base Michael Jordan card. Also one of the more iconic cards during the early 90s because it also shows him in mid-flight going up for a slam dunk. So again, happy to have this as part of my collection. So that's it for this Michael Jordan Who Do You Collect series episode. I want to thank everyone who stayed until the end of this video. As always, please click on the like button and I hope you can share your comments about this collection in the comment section down below. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so as it will help out the channel a lot. Thanks again everyone and see you all in our next video.